Residential dwellings are insured by policies known as homeowners and renters policies. These policies are personal lines insurance, meaning they're used primarily by individuals rather than businesses. They're also heavily regulated by state law, with many states requiring specific endorsements be included with all homeowners policies issued in that state. Typically, homeowners and renters policies include both first-party property coverage for damage to the insured property and third-party liability coverage for certain claims made by third parties. First-party coverage means protection for an interest that belongs directly to an insured person. Property coverage means that the protected interest is a property interest, such as an ownership or contractual interest in the insured property. Homeowners' policies usually cover three categories of property. The dwelling, any outbuildings like garages or sheds, and the policyholder's personal property, frequently even if it isn't located at the dwelling. However, homeowners' policies generally don't cover property that's expected to be covered by a separate policy, such as automobiles or a second dwelling at a different location. Homeowners' policies may be structured as either all-risks or named perils policies. An all-risks policy covers all external perils that aren't specifically excluded by the policy. A named perils policy covers only the external perils that are specifically named in the policy. Both options typically end up covering and excluding the same general perils. Commonly, covered perils include fire, wind, lightning, rain, and strikes from external objects. Commonly excluded perils include floods, earthquakes, mold, fungus, or rot, and governmental action. What if a loss is caused by both a covered peril and an excluded peril? Two possible policy provisions addressed mixed causes in opposite ways. Under an anti-concurrent causation provision, if an excluded peril causes the loss in any way, the loss isn't covered. 